Uh, this is the bonnet one. Uh, normally they're the, here. Uh, no gas struts, unfortunately, as you could imagine, but you can fit them if you wish to. Uh, this is the engine. I don't think this has been modified in any way because normally there's stickers everywhere if you do and there's different air intakes and so on. You still have the Ford original battery, um, unless it's been changed, obviously, but it is. Let's have the Ford logo on there. Um, it, you know, um, we don't clean the engine bays at all unless we absolutely need to. So when we took it in, we haven't done anything apart from servicing, fill up the washer cap, check all the fluids levels, um, and obviously do a health check um, and everything as it should be. Um, if you want to do, um, obviously the screen washes. I don't know if you can just see it's right at the bottom, but we can fill it up again. It's not an issue. And uh, looking at it from here. I, I can't see any massive modification. Uh, in terms of immobilizer, I believe it's just the factory fitted one because um, uh, a lot of these ghost immobilizers, they need a secondary key to start the car. Uh, this one, it just has one um, normal key, uh, which is just here. Um, we can start it with it. This is our peg, by the way. This is just a tracker uh, we use, but the, the key is just on its own there. Um, apart from that, that's it. Oh, privacy glass. The only thing we're waiting for, uh, the parts guys have ordered, is just the uh, the cover for the bottom. Uh, no spare wheel, as, as you can imagine as well, unfortunately, um, with these cars. You can order one yourself. Unfortunately, it'll cost you more money, but we don't do it um, unless it comes with it. Um, so, um, without boring you, that is the car. Um, and any questions, let me know. And I'll, I'll dig a bit deeper about the, um, the immobiliser situation just to see if it's got a, I don't know, a custom one at all.